Hey, hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm the cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, I went and did it. I traded my 1962 Dove Blue patinaed combi for a fine example of a 1969 VW Westphalia Campmobile. We're going to take a look, and we're going to try and figure out why I did something like this. So if this is something you're interested in, let's get started. Right. One of the first reasons why I made this little swap is because I love money. And when a buddy of mine offers me a pizza box full of money and a Westphalia that I really wanted in exchange for my van, I couldn't help but jump on it. Had the van a few years, you know, had my fun with it. I did a lot of things to it. Had a couple of cool options that I liked. I was, you know, I made a little bed in there so I could sleep. But it's just not the same as owning a real official Westphalia Catmobile. I know the value is going to continue to go up. This is a one-owner car out of, you know, Western State, Wyoming. So I know it's going to be in pretty good condition. It needs a couple things that I need to fix. But I think all in all, I'm going to have a really nice van that I can just jump in and go anywhere and hit more campouts. All right, here it is. On the trailer, just made it home. We're getting ready to get car wash and the steam clean the whole engine and everything is definitely is going to be in need of a rebuild but we're going to be handling that soon so this is the first look 69 west valley at camp okay here we are just got the van home I can see across the street that the gardeners are there. So it's going to get really loud really soon. I just got back from the car wash where, of course, I sprayed the motor down with it not running. So it won't start. So it's stuck out front for now. Let it dry out. First look. Let's try that again. Better. Let's head a front nose done. Looks pretty tidy under there. Dash is clean. Back here looks nice. Got a paper plate, got a closet, got drawers, got the ice box, got the side table. The side door opens and closes nicely. Hey, needs a little grease right there. Quite pleased with my little bay window. Mm -hmm. 
There it is, people. My new bay window bus. Yes, I know you guys think I'm crazy because who would trade a split bus for a bay bus? Here, look at them. No, I wanted a bay bus for a while. But how, like I said, I've had my share of split window buses, a number of them. And don't get me wrong, I do love them. I love the nostalgic of them. I think they're pretty cool. At the time when I was younger, fat chicks weren't allowed. There were no bay windows allowed in any of the things. So, you know, I just always did split buses, but I'm quite happy to have a bay bus. I mean, roll down windows, come on, that's the coolest. And bent windows, nice. And the sliding door. But for me to get into a split bus SO42 or something, like I said, I've had those before, you know, they're 60, 80 grand right now. So I'm into this one for a decent price. Worked out a deal. Got rid of my blue economy. Got this one. Got a pizza box full of dollar or hundred dollar bills. So I'm quite happy about that. So we're gonna go ahead and play with this. You can hear probably here the motor is shot. Um, it's gonna need quite a bit. So we're gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get that motor pulled out We're gonna get another replacement motor pulled it put in there and we're gonna be cruising this thing Hopefully real soon and have it together by the black star camp out next month So we'll do a little walk around we're gonna look at some of the stuff see what's good what's bad what needs to be changed Hopefully you guys like the video Okay, as you can see, I'm gonna have to replace the pop top as it's pretty worn. It came with a new one, so we're gonna get in here, but then look how nice this child's cot is. It's in excellent condition. And then up here, I saw pouch and pulled it out and here is the other cot that goes across the front seat again an exceptional condition under the seats it's nice no water damage same thing under here it also has a rear screen and the original Westphalia electrical plug and I've got a seat belts under there. Oh. That's gonna make things nice. And I put an ice block in here and I'm just gonna see how cool it would make this by tomorrow morning. Fridge is in good shape, it just needs a good cleaning. And as you can see, the countertop has definitely seen its better days. But as you
you saw in the back seat, I have the replacement. So this is an early 69. So this is 68, 69 only from what I understand. And this looks like it's going to be pretty easy to take out. There's just a couple of screws left. And just have to drill a hole for the water neck and the water tap. And we're good to go. I like the spice rack. That's pretty great. Inside the closet, we have the correct hooks and hanger rod. There's something in there. I'm gonna try and figure out what that is. All right, I was hoping to find something really cool, but it's just this little cookbook here and receipt for renting something, but I can't make out the date and the pack of matches. There's a book stuck in there, but I can't get it out without taking the seat apart. No treasure. And it's got the plug intact and a fuse in there for shore power. Correct table. And let's take a look at that. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna button this thing up move on to the next step which will be getting a motor in it all right that's it there you have it the new project on filet tv 1969 westphalia campmobile stay tuned i will be bringing you more updates as i go along on getting this thing on the road so please do me a favor give me a, a like Share, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the notification bell, you know all that good stuff. Look for me on Instagram, Filet TV channel. But either way, thanks for watching, Filet TV.